spending a few days with it, I'm starting to fall in love with it. With the touch of a button, the plasma TV comes and folds down. Welcome back. As you can see today, we're with the brand new 7 Series. This is the 760 X Drive, so it's the most loaded one that you can get. I think it's safe to say this is the most controversial high-end luxury car right now. I personally was not a fan when I first saw the pics, just like I'm sure most of you online. But I'll tell you, after spending a few days with it, I'm starting to fall in love with it. Both the styling has grown on me, and I think the interior options, the luxuries it has, the electronics especially it has is unmatched, and I'd love to show you a little bit of the features. So it has self-opening doors, as you guys can see. See, with the touch of a button, the doors exit and open out to you. Look how beautiful the tail light is with the BMW insignia. I think it's a gorgeous touch. They did this cross weave. LED, maybe even hot, newer than LED, and I'm ignorant to it so far, but I mean, it's next level. BMW has really stepped up their rear entertainment. I think it's safe to say they're the top end right now in this, and I'd love to show you how the rear entertainment works in this car if you guys jump in with me. All right, so on the interior, once you're seated in the back, this seat that I'm in, I think is the primary if you're being driven. And basically on the door panels here, you'll see the LCD screens and uh, with a swipe, you can control everything back here. So let's start with the rear seating option. Basically it gives you a lounge seat and um, pretty much works like this. You'll see with a touch of a button, the front seat is becoming compressed and it goes completely forward into the dash. And then the rear seat that I'm sitting on gives it a lounge feature so it has a leg raise that will come up shortly once the front seat is done with its function and it basically gives you a full you know i don't even know what to call it it's so great i mean it, it's next level of comfort and especially for a chauffeur driven car i haven't seen any other one that has this level you'll notice now my the feet are coming up the footrest and it basically turns it into what would be equivalent to a first class lounge type seating even small details like you'll notice the final flap is lifting up and that's intended to be able to raise extend your legs all the way i mean i don't know if it gets better than this in it for for being driven i don't know if it gets better than this but if you want some more look at what bmw has done up here so i go to the rear entertainment section and you'll see with the touch of a button the plasma TV comes and folds down. And it's ready for a full theater experience, whether you're working, whether you're enjoying, literally anything you can think of BMW is added in here. So it comes with television, comes with Hulu, YouTube, all, all the internet stuff. And if you wanna get some work done, you're able to, to do it from here too. You'll notice on the screen, it has all your options, Netflix, Prime, YouTube, news. I mean, you name it, you know? It's a full command center, if you ask me. All touch screen, so you pretty much can go to any of your, like Prime Video, for instance. I mean, you go with the touch of a button, you can go from enjoyment to office. It's literally a mobile command center. I mean, it's next level. On the outside of this vehicle, we kept it real simple, being that this client of ours has pretty much every exotic car you can think of, all the top brands in the world. So for this, it's his daily chauffeur driven car. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to keep it a very grown, but kind of like a factory OEM plus type of look. So as you can see, we fit it with Alpina wheels. So that comes, it's a factory option on the BMW 7 series, but not yet available for the brand new seven, but it's a 21 inch Alpina wheel. Michelin tires set just the way the factory does it. But in addition, what we did to give it that extra kick is we lowered the suspension and we did wheel spacers. So 
Just to complete the look, it looks aggressive. It looks better than every other one on the road. However, it's still very grown, very elegant, comfortable to drive in. So you're not on very low profile tires. I'm personally a big fan of the look. As I've gotten older, obviously my tastes change in cars and how I, and how I like things. So it's very classy, still comfortable, but it sets itself apart than every other one that you see on the street. I think the wheel spacers and the lowering makes a world of a difference on a setup like this. So it doesn't need much else with the few little touches we've added with the wheels tires the lowering and the, the spacers I think the stance and the and the setup is really what makes it you know what it is the car is so beautiful that it doesn't need much it comes with the factory satin paint comes with all the interior we spoke about and we shown you earlier I think it's perfect for a daily driver especially one to be driven in comfortable has that OEM plus look very clean very sleek very grown man I'm very happy with it <laughs>